Hi everybody, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving Masonic history through telling stories about those items. Uh, and I just want to start off by telling everybody how grateful I am for the likes and the subscriptions to the YouTube channel. Uh, keep on sharing and clicking that like button that we can hopefully get more guys to submit uh, videos to our channel. Um, I would love to have your Masonic item on the channel. I want you to tell us all about it. Um, I think it would be just amazing to hear all the stories about all of our neat trinkets and items and things that mean something to us um, Masonically. Uh, today on the program, I just wanted to share with you something kind of cool. I've never really seen anything like it before. Uh, now, in past episodes, I've shown you my first challenge coin, uh, coin which I ever received. Um, here's a, you know, these things are great. You know, I'm sure we all have tons of them. This was a neat one that I got when I went to the uh, Ezekiel Bates um, Masonic Con back in 2017. It's like a really cool Memento Mori one. And if you like this, I'll put a link to where you can get it in the show notes. But this isn't the one I wanted to talk about today. The one I wanted to talk about today was uh, due to a really interesting item. Um, it's a wooden coin. And it's not just any wood. Uh, this actually comes from King Solomon's Lodge Number no. 7, uh, one of the oldest it, it, uh, Masonic lodges in its area. And I just wanted to read a little bit from the history of this coin. It says, The first charter was issued to King Solomon Lodge No. 7, AF and AM, by the Provincial Grand Lodge of Boston on July 17, 1765. So on the front of the coin, it says, A Beacon of Light, 1765 to 2015. And on the reverse, it says King Solomon Lodge, number 7, AF and AM, chartered July 17th, 1765. Now, this lodge went through revisions and updates. Um, in fact, there's a note in here that says on August 29th in 1838, a meeting was held at which a committee reported that the building of a new lodge room could not exceed $700. Uh, just thinking about some of the history behind these uh, decisions and we think about money and how um, you know much more money was worth back then um, and it's just really kind of interesting this history that I received is a very decent uh, history it's just a few paragraphs and I don't want to read all of it here uh, but just it suffice to say that the history is great um, but what's so special about this wood coin they weren't being cheap. This is actually wood that was used in the renovation of the lodge. This is the original wood of the lodge in its renovations. Um, absolute treasure to have this. It's very lightweight, um, just like a wafer, really. Um, but it's so fantastic and, and so cool. So I'm hoping you can see it. And again, as always, if you can't, and when I review these videos, if, if the imaging isn't well, uh, we'll, of course, put a photograph of it um, in the show notes. So thank you so much uh, to the brother who sent this to me uh, quite a few years ago at this point, um, but it's so great. So uh, King Solomon's Lodge, number seven. And if you have any comments about this, uh, please go ahead and leave that in the comments section of the YouTube video or on our Facebook page, and I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible. Oh, and I did forget to mention that this is all happening in Connecticut. So to my Connecticut brethren, thank you so much. And we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow right here on Masonic Curators. Thanks for watching. Did you subscribe yet? Do it.